So, facing on the camera, introduce an area. Welcome to Frankfurt. We're back in Frankfurt now. And we're going to walk around Frankfurt. Let's see what the city has. Last time you saw me in Frankfurt was at the airport arriving. Yeah, flying from Nairobi. And now... Yeah, let's walk around Frankfurt. Let's see what Frankfurt has. So I'll do the explanations later. So let's go. The station is kind of like structured like in Munich. Because the trains end here usually. But I'll just eat something first and then yeah, something small and then we proceed to give you what you need. So yeah, see you. So let's look for the exit, where we get out, from where I don't know. So let's move. So, welcome to Frankfurt. Frankfurt are mine. Frankfurt at the mine. So, right now we're in the downtown. So, <clears throat> this is the only city in Germany with high-rise buildings. Yeah, and well, it's not the cleanest city. And yeah, in Germany, it's usually known as the shadiest city. So, some places I will just try to keep it low with the camera, but still face on the camera. Yeah, just have to be, it's common sense, so, but we just walk to where the buildings are and then we check it out. Up there is the DB, Deutsche Bahn, the German Rail. So before we go to the high-rise buildings, once we are there, I'll just explain something about it and just add more to the story. Well, around here it's all good anyway. There's nothing that bad. Let's keep on walking. So this is the only city in Germany with high-rise buildings. There's the Deutsche Post. 
and it's also known for stocks exchange stock exchanges yep over there is the euro sign and yeah i just want to walk this direction it's, i think nairobi looks much nicer than this city though i mean it's it is maintained in its own way it's still a concrete jungle but i think it has improved from back then it used to be worse so yeah let's check it out yeah maybe i want to explain the reason why it's the only city with high-rise buildings because uh, i think there's there's a there's something like a law where they don't want to make high-rise buildings in all the other cities because i can bet like a city like munich could be having high-rise buildings by now so it's, it's uh, i think it's just decided that the cities just keep their own design like from back in the medieval times you know the traditional buildings and stuff you know like the church towers or the cathedrals that those towers look more visible than the high-rise buildings so that's why you'll find mostly high-rise buildings here in frankfurt than in all other cities they are right they are also sky well it's the only city with skyscrapers and you will find high buildings in other cities as well but not like here and this is also the financial capital of uh germany and the other capital is basically in uh the other capital is berlin but not the financial one because in all the other capital cities they have high-rise buildings i mean capital cities around here in europe but here it's designed a little bit different Reminds me a little bit of Nairobi, except the yeah the park was still under construction. So I think when that park is a, is complete, I think it will just look like this, surrounded by high-rise buildings, and walking through the park. Well, I'm just walk, going with the flow, going with the flow. But I guess maybe. I ask myself, like everyone else, why are there high-rise buildings in Frankfurt and not in Berlin, actually? But I'm not sure. I'm just saying what I think. I think uh, uh, because Berlin, you know, after the Second World War, it was divided into two cities, East Berlin and West Berlin. And with West Germany, West Germany used to have another capital city, it was Bonn. So I think they had to make the financial district Frankfurt. So that's why you find... That's why you find, uh, yeah, high-rise buildings here. And also Frankfurt has the biggest airport. It has the biggest airport in germany and in the entire europe well the cargo airport 
because the passenger airport is basically in uh, yeah the passenger the largest passenger airport i think it's in europe is in istanbul we shouldn't forget istanbul has two sides of towns so the new airport is on the western part which is still in europe before it was london heathrow so things have changed Well, this time I got out of the railway station and got more at a nicer area. Kind of more like, uh, yeah, a little nice. There's one area when, once you get out of the station, you're in a shady area. Well, maybe we might walk past there, but let's do the nicer parts first. Let's not always try get capture negativity. But on the other side, I don't want to encounter. I don't want to be like in a confrontation with, yeah, with you know, people who are taking drugs, who are high on drugs. I had a bad experience with someone in Nairobi who was kind of threatening me with injections, and I almost got in a clash with him. So, when people are on drugs, it's not only the best thing. high-rise buildings well here it's a little quiet now these are all headquarters bank headquarters and there are also some headquarters like we just saw of uh, Deutsche Bahn and the rest is mostly banks so yeah if you wanted to rob a bank come to frankfurt but you should know how to escape And Frankfurt is also not really that big. Population of almost a million, like around 700,000 something. So I don't know in which position it is as the largest city in Germany. Because Munich is the third largest city, then comes Cologne. But after Cologne, I don't know that. Cologne will be the fourth. So. Yeah. Everything out of buildings, buildings. So, which am I walking the right direction? Let's see. Construction going on. So, how high will this building be? Uh, oh, well, not that high. There are higher buildings. Yeah, this area is nice and quiet. So I don't know how many clips it will be today, it might end up with two to three, I'll be recording a lot, so yeah. More a, a square, more a relaxing area.
Yeah, I forgot one thing. Welcome to Frankfurt. Because also if you go to other European capital cities, you also see high-rise buildings actually. But I guess here there could be more, but I'm not sure. I think if you went to Moscow, you'll see many more high-rise buildings. So now I'll go to the left. Interesting. 